hopefully this is on. Hopefully this is on. If it is, then good. This goes out to all ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ever since the Ferguson riot and so on, you guys are actively protesting. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> A while ago I stated that you have to redirect anger and I made some other things about uh, the whole situation that we are now in, basically. Uh, none of this would have been here if people would listen to what I'm trying to tell you. You cannot take anger and just keep it in you and fling it back out, okay? The whole redirect of anger is highly important. And I'll show you how it leads to all this. All right. Say, for instance, I w am outside, okay, and I'm doing something illegal, okay? I have actually seen people do this. There was this guy. He was standing on the corner selling some dope to another dude. Now, I'm looking at the whole thing happen, and as I saw, I see a police officer coming down the way, and he saw, like, the last results of it. He was like, oh, did that just happen? So I happened to hear him say that. And when he said that, he had this anger in him. So he was finna head over there with all this anger. Now, I kinda thought it was a bad thing that was finna happen, so I stopped and looked. When I looked, I saw the guy who was selling that stuff saw the police officer. Now, instead of going, oh man, what the fuck? You know what Taking his anger and throwing it and bringing it back and everything, he must know the secret. He used happiness instead of anger. He saw the cop coming and said, hey, nigga, yeah, that's my dog, that's you. The cop said, huh, what the, hey, what's up? Man, what you just over here selling? He's like, man, I ain't, listen, man, I remember you from over that last time that you helped me out, man. Thank you, man. You are God seeing. I swear, man, I love you. He started talking all this good stuff and happy stuff to the cop. And the police officer was like, looking around, he even looked at me for a second, like, well, what the heck is going on here? Now the cop is confused because he's turning from angry to happy. He's looking at this dude, act this fool, and become happy. So when he got, now he's trying to tell the guy what he's there for, you know, and, but the guy was just talking. So when the guy shut up finally and he saw the cop had cracked a smile, finally the cop was like, yeah, man, I, I was just, man, you ain't know how to sell no dope. Like, he's like, nah, man, I ain't got no dope, man. What the fuck? Nah, nah, I don't do no shit like that. But hey, man, you know, he went back to the whole other thing. End of the story, the cop never asked him for his name, never searched the man, never shot at the man, never did anything. My whole point is this. Every police officer out here, you have to treat him. You have to treat him like a wild wolf. Not a dog, a wild ass wolf. Because this nigga is someone's pet. Well, okay, yeah. Like someone's pet. That'd even be better. Because if you think about it, if somebody sat there and had their dog sitting next to him and said, skip him, what the fuck ain't gonna happen? Get what ass is your ass. That dog will come over there, bite the shit out you. I mean, he's gonna take some chunks up off you, okay? So, the whole thing of police officers are corporate America's wild dogs, okay? Or pets, whatever you wanna call it. The whole point is, you have to treat them like that. When you into counter with them, you can't come at a police officer with, <laughs> yeah. They gonna get, oh shit, these, you know, pop. I didn't know what to do, shit. He had <laughs> on his face. <laughs> you see a cop, you should go. Even though you was thinking, because all they see is face, and all they see is gesture. And they learned from in uh, the academy to kill anything that's going to threaten them. Well, everybody feels threatened if you come up like this to them. Yeah, you threaten it. You highly threaten it. 
I looked at every single thing that I could find on the internet where a cop kills a person. And in every situation, the cop apparently is scared. Okay? Now, why is he scared? Maybe he shouldn't be a cop. Maybe he shouldn't be. That I can rule. I can say that if you have killed somebody, then get off the police force. Get off. Get off. You scared. You a punk. You scared. Get off. If somebody come up to your face like this, you going to shoot them? Get off the force. Point blank period. Get off. That ain't your job. You can't deal with this. This is too much stress. You losing your hair, all kinds of shit. Okay? I ain't lost my hair. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no police officer neither. I'm a computer tech guy. Something down with me, I bring it back to life. You kill everything. I'm talking to the police now. You kill everything that you scared of. And that is not right. We are human beings. Every last one of us. And I'm not just talking about black folks. I'm talking about white, Asian, everybody. Okay? Because I'm seeing y'all kill white men. White men. Y'all are white men. Y'all black men. Y'all killing black men. So it's not the whole point of white and black anymore. That shit ain't even them fucking involved. Apparently, it's all about you being a police officer and angry and scared of your own damn job. Get off the force. It's not for you. I think we need to go and evaluate each police officer there is to see if they get that scared test. Oh, you scared, pal? Oh, you no, no, no. Yeah, that was a dream, dog. You can't be a police officer. Uh, next person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We really go ahead. I'm going to really invent that damn device. So we could put you in a dream. We could see your dream. And then we're going to go ahead and evaluate who's a good cop. Okay? If something scares you, you don't kill it first. Okay? You evaluate the situation. Even if they pull out a gun, then fine. And you get behind your boys. Y'all get behind some shielding. All right? You get to the subject without killing him. I seen it in every movie. Why can we can't do this shit in real life? I think we take what's happening in real life and we put it into the movie so we can show it. Why we ain't? What's happening? Do you really want me to make a movie off of what y'all doing right now? No. Okay. So now back to my black folks and white people that's out here rioting and uh, protesting. Okay. Because there is the two different versions. There's one good and one bad. Ain't nothing good, ain't nothing bad, okay? It's just how y'all opinions are about what somebody else did. When the cop shot the kid, to me, that ain't good, that ain't bad. That's what happened. Now, how could we stop shit like this, okay? You guys out here riding, you're going to cause more situations, okay? Mm. To fix this problem is not riding. It's not uh, protesting. To fix this problem... Stop shopping at the stores that the corporate is paying the police for. So that means that it's done. All this stuff about you go to Jules and Dominic's and the big corporations to go do your shopping. No. Mm -mm. Go find where they got all their supplies from. Go to those places and be like, look, this one I'm going to buy for you. We're going to open up a little store right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. And we're going to take the, all of Dominex, all of Jewels, how they got all these different departments and shit. And we're going to lay it down the whole block, okay? We're going to have the meat department store, okay? We're going to have a produce store, you know, and they're going to sell huge amounts of that stuff, okay? That's what we need to do. We need to make our mom and pop stores again. Okay? And we sell individual items down a whole fucking block. That way, now the property taxes go up. People who's in the property, man, it's a whole long story up to this. The whole point is, stop shopping at them Dominics, Jewels, big corporate. Okay? Stop shopping big corporate. That's what y'all want to do. Y'all want to stop the cops. Stop shopping big corporate. Because then, once you the mom and pop and you own these little stores, you control the cops. <laughs> That's right. You can say, hey, nigga, get over here. It's my store right here. Yeah, uh, stay in God. <laughs> Seriously, you paying this nigga's payment because you own the store. They have to do what you say. You are the store owner. The only person that could come in there and tell you what the fuck to do that's a police type officer is the sheriff. That's to kick your ass out. <laughs> but enough about all this.
the whole point is we need to stop we need to stop with the rioting we need to stop with the protesting because all of that is not going to turn the police force down that's what y'all want right y'all want the police force to be changed right do it where they hurt do it where it's gonna hurt them hurt them real bad they don't get no paycheck oh.